Dave here. How are you? And welcome to What's in Arthur's Toolbox. Tonight, I'm going to have a look at this guy. Now, this is a keyhole saw, pad saw, fret saw, whatever you want to call it. They're all going to be correct. The last one, fret saw, is probably not quite exact. They come with a bit of a handle at the end here. But it's designed, it's not a lightsaber. <laughs> That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? This was pre-Luke. So the pad saw, very popular in England, didn't really take off in America, I believe. The handle, I think, is rosewood. The end here is brass, and there's a steel clamp, plate inside, and a couple of steel screws here. As you tighten those up, it pushes the clamp down onto a blade. And I was amazed. Like, I had only seen this. I didn't realize there was a blade inside until I <laughs> used to the... Look at this. What a cracker of a screwdriver that is. That's one of Arthur's screwdrivers as well. So I shall undo these couple of screws. I was going to use this screwdriver, but it doesn't look like much in comparison. This looks so much nicer. Where's all the art gone? Okay, so inside, there it is. Out comes the blade. Now the blade can come all the way up and the direction of the blade is typically western. The direction of the teeth is western. It's pushing away from you. Now, being used as a keyhole, I'll put it in here and the clamp will come down and I'll lock it on. Being used as a keyhole saw, it's exactly what it says. It was for doing keyholes. So how they would do it, and they probably still do it now, is drill a couple of holes. They drill one hole above the other and then they join the holes with this and that's it. The blade having the teeth facing away would give you a clean cut on the surface. These days people might use a jigsaw but they didn't have jigsaws back then. They had these. Now these also could be used to cut out fretwork. That's the old fashioned lovely screens and everything. These days I guess we'd use a scroll saw. Pad saw, I don't know why it's called a pad saw. But what I use my modern day one for, and that's my modern day one, look at the difference. Hey? You'd much rather own this, wouldn't you? <laughs> but I used this when I was building. We'd uh, jump in and the electrician would run the wires in the wall and we'd have these little metal plates on the stud work and the wires would be just behind there. The plaster would come in and put all the jip rock up. Then we'd go around with this and we'd just punch a little hole in, down, down, down no chance of cutting the cables in behind because we had a whole lot more control than if I was to use a jigsaw. But there you go. This is a quick tool for these days. This was the essential tool a hundred years ago. This is beautiful. Oh, it's just, it's so well balanced in your hand. This thing is so light. I don't feel as though I have any control of it. This thing, it's got all this mass. So as I'm cutting, I'd have so much more control. Show you some photos of it. Here's something that's interesting. How the hell did they cut that slot right the way through the inside? There are no joints. I cannot see a join down the side of the rosewood there. Well, I think it's rosewood. And I've left all the patina on this one. People that gave me a hard time about cleaning this bench, I won't do it to the tools. It was only the bench because I used the bench. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. By all means, throw some comments in if you've got any more uses for this saw or know another name for it. And just up here is subscribe to the channel and all that other stuff there if you want to. Hit the like button. See you next time. Thanks for watching.